Jacob, congratulations on your debut for the Carlton Football Club. How did you find the experience? Oh, an amazing experience, Tony. Um, 80,000 at the G, first round. Uh, footy's back, I guess. So, no, it was fantastic to put the navy blue jumper on, run out with all these fellas, and uh, I think we did it proud. Uh, we obviously didn't get the win, and it's, it's quite disappointing. Um, it was a very good effort. We've obviously come a long way and we've improved a lot, uh, but we've got a lot to work on. We'll go back to the drawing board, uh, certainly review our performance, pull out the positives and negatives and, and get ready for next week. You certainly seem relaxed and poised out there, but you know, I guess if you don't prepare for a game like this in front of that sort of crowd, you wouldn't be human if you didn't have butterflies. How, how did you control that? Yeah, there was a lot of nerves, that's for sure. I actually went home again uh, last night, had my normal meal, uh, slept in my own bed uh, and just prepared um, as well as I can. I tried not to think about the game, tried to, tried to push footy away just for the 24 hours and then uh, once I got to the ground it was, it was all about football and just switch on. But yeah, we all, we're all human, um, every single one of us uh, ran out there a little bit nervous. Obviously it's our first game back of the year and for me it's my first game ever. So um, it was nice to just get out there, get a few touches and get a feel for what AFL football's like. Did you get the, the nod from Brendan Bolton early in the week uh, or did you uh, have to wait for the, uh, the OK? Oh, it was just a day before uh, the rest of the, uh, the public knew. So, um, no, it was fantastic. Bolts, Bolts gave me a bit of an insight as to how I've been going over the pre-season and, and that I have shown a lot of improvement and a lot of hard work. And, and uh, I wasn't entitled to anything being a number one draft pick, that's for sure. Um, as soon as I walked into the club, I threw that number out the door and I was just another player. So uh, I really worked hard for this spot and uh, I, I felt like I earned it out there and it was just fantastic to run out on the G tonight. When you reflect on tonight's game, obviously there are chances that were probably lost, you know, various crucial moments in the match. And yet if the, if the team plays like that, they'll certainly win more games than they lose. Yeah, exactly. We, uh, we put in three quarters of football um, and we play four quarters of football in a real game. So uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, as I said, we'll just go back, we'll review uh, what things we did well, what things we, we could do better. And uh, no, we'll certainly um, yeah, hit Sydney uh, where it hurts, I guess, in, two, in 10 days. And I think looking on as an observer, I think what was great about the way the team plays was that they certainly play for each other. They uh, are prepared to switch the play, uh, you know, work the angles and um, really play a, a fairly attractive brand of footy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I wasn't here last year, so I can't speak for the side uh, and how it, it felt last year, both on and off the field. But this year, it's, it's the new Carlton. It's, it's feeling fresh. The game plan's great. Uh, we're all, we've all got that buy-in aspect to it as well. And uh, there was plenty of plenty of times out there where I had a smile on my face when we kicked a goal or the crowd got up and about. So, uh, no, it's fantastic playing AFL football. I can't complain. I caught up with Andrew Carazzo's parents before the match and Peter Carazzo, his father, said first time probably in 15 to 20 years I've had an opportunity to come along and relax and enjoy the game. Um, are you mindful of the pressures of your, your, that the, your parents must be going through in, in riding every bump and, and kick that you get? Yeah, look, I... They've supported me all the way through this journey um, since I started playing football at five, six years of age. Uh, but we've got a massive uh, family support network. I've got a f uh, fantastic uh, social network. I've probably had, I reckon, 40 or 50 people, uh, friends and family come up from, from local clubs and football clubs that I've played through, um, people through school and, and certainly my family. Uh, they're just in behind me. So I can't complain. They're my circle of influence. They're the ones that have supported me all the way through. So. Um, I love them to death and they love me and, and whether it's a win or a loss or I don't play well or I do play well, they'll, they'll back me every day of the week. And a final question, when you reflect on this, your first game for Carlton, what do you think you'll take away from this experience? Uh, yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, we obviously didn't get the win, but uh, we're a part of the new Carlton now. Uh, we're starting fresh. I'm part of the, uh, the draft crop that, that is establishing this new Carlton, this new culture. Uh, and a winning culture for that, and, and that's where we want to head. We want to win games. We don't want to lose them. This was our game to to lose, really. We uh, at that three-quarter time break. Um, yeah, frustrating end to the, to the night, but um, no, I just can't wait to to get back out on the training track, improve, and and get back out there in ten days against Sydney. That's the way it is. Well done, uh, Jacob. The journey's begun. Uh, may it be a long and meritorious one for you. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, Tony.